X to the ninth minus three squared. so late on Friday night this is my last algebra problem I save my history until tomorrow Sarah Sarah your father and I appreciate the fact that you take your schoolwork seriously but well couldn't you manage to arrange your time so you could have a little fun too I have a certain amount of homework to do and I like to get it done on time but you have the whole weekend you could go out on Friday night or have somebody in. Like them? Is that what you mean? Having a good time is all I mean. And that's why I talked to Ron's mother the other you day. You didn't. Well, I suppose you fixed it so he'd have to invite me over. I might have, if it had been necessary. But I found out that those Friday night get-togethers are open houses. You could go. I know I could if I wanted to. I don't. I think you should go. You're only young once Mother, and you... Mother, don't be so corny. There's nobody over there I want to see. I think I'd better finish my algebra. Of course, dear. We'll talk about this some other time. are certainly a nice bunch, Ron. Yeah, they're the greatest. Do you suppose they'd like to help you do something really nice? What do you mean, Mom? Well, how about being more friendly to Sarah Inman? Sarah right? Inman? Oh, Mom. No, really, dear, I mean it. Now, you could invite Sarah over here next Friday to join Ask us. Ask Sarah to come over here? Well, gee whiz, why? Well, don't you want her to come? No, I don't particularly want her. Sarah Inman... Now, Ron, you know we've always said that all of your friends are welcome here at any time. Well, I know, Mom, but, well, the idea just kind of grew. We've got a large game room, well-stocked refrigerator, and lots of good records. So the gang started drifting in here on Friday. Nobody needed to be asked, but Sarah never came. She's too high hat for that. She wants a special invitation, and if she gets it, it'll be just one more reason for her to think she's better than anybody else. Now, look here, Ron. Years ago, when you had rheumatic fever, don't you remember who it was who came over here every day and read to you by the hour? Well, sure, Mom, but well, she's changed since then. Oh, no, Ron, I don't think she's really changed. Why don't you give her a chance? Well, she was good to me once. I guess I can ask her to honor us with her presence. I'll call her tomorrow. Thanks, son. You know, growing up brings different problems to different people. And some, well, they just don't quite bring it off without falling down somewhere. Well, if you ask me, where Sarah fell down was when she went into junior high. When she was in grade school, she, she was swell. She made good grades and had lots of friends. But when she started going to junior high with lots of other sharp kids, well, she couldn't be a big wheel. Now she's in senior high and... Oh. oh, it's too bad. It seems... Well, you know, it sounds like she needs a friend. You're nominating me? 
I don't know. She may cut me dead. She does lots of other people. And I don't think she cares at all. Hmm. Her Highness has a new sweater. Ooh, it's luscious. You've got a hand it to Sarah. She certainly has good taste. <laughs> the way she acts, she'd think nobody else did. She'll hear you. That's an awful pretty sweater, Sarah. Well, don't speak. Were you talking to me? Never mind. Hear nobody, see nobody, talk to nobody. That's Sarah. No, no wonder she had any friends. And Manson made secretary. Yeah, right? Jerry made vice president. President, oh, Bill Tyler. That's oh, great. Bill Tyler. Hey, Bill. 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 Hey,
First choice goes to our new president. Look at them, playing up to him. Bill Tyler, big man. Everything he does is too, too clever. It makes me sick. I'm just as good as he is. No, I'm better. He'll get no playing up from me. and talk then? I'd rather not. Not with you. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you mad. Oh, are you satisfied? I don't know what you're talking about. You really froze him out, didn't you? I don't know what business it is of yours if I don't want to dance. Well, I think you did want to dance. You wanted to dance, all right, but you just couldn't pass up the chance to be a snob. she does. Is it a cover-up for some lack she feels in herself? Can a friend like Ron help her in any way? Is the group justified in judging everything Sarah does as snobbery? What do you think? 